All right, guys, so here we are. This is a little different than the videos that I normally do, but there's something that we kind of need to talk about. After 27 years of drinking, I decided to give it up for good. Yep, you heard me right. I only quit 40 days ago, but the effects have already reaffirmed my decision to quit. Now, before I get started, I really want to preface this with I am not here to judge. I have not got my life figured out, nor do I think that alcohol use on occasion is really, really bad. I think that everyone has to take their own journey into consideration when evaluating whether or not this is something that you want in your life. And for me, it just didn't add enough value for me to keep it around. Even though it took me a long time to come to that conclusion. If anything I share here today helps even just one person, then I will feel like this video is a success. I started questioning my relationship with alcohol about a year ago, but never really took the steps towards making a more permanent change. Now, granted, I am 41 and I had my first drink at the age of 14. I want you to know that it was not uncommon for teenagers in our town to go to camp parties and have a few beers. It was socially accepted as the norm, which as a parent of three, that in itself terrifies the living hell out of me. That's a whole nother video. Alcohol had always been something in my life that was just there. And I never really questioned its effects on me until I actually quit. Having three children of my own, I quit during each of my pregnancies. But when you're growing a human inside of you, all the hormonal changes really don't give justice to just what's happening in your body when you detox from this poison. So here's what I really want to share with you today. I am only 40 days in and I cannot believe the profound effects that giving up alcohol has had in my life. First off, I had forgotten what it was like to dream. I don't know the last time that I actually had a dream and remembered it, but since I quit drinking, I am having the most vivid dreams. And I'm not going to lie, at times they are terrifying, <laughs> but it's amazing that my body is actually getting restful sleep again. So if you know anything about REM and deep sleep, you'll know that having dreams and being in that deep level of sleep really is indicative of the fact that your body is doing what it's naturally supposed to do. And around 4, 4.30, I'm waking up without an alarm. That to me is huge because I've always been a morning person and I enjoy getting up in the morning so I can read and have my routine and have some quiet time before the rest of my family gets up. But the fact that now I'm doing it without even an alarm clock and I'm feeling more rested than I ever did, that's huge for me. And I didn't realize that it was alcohol, even just occasional alcohol use, that was throwing off my sleep cycle in the way that it was. So better sleep, that's number one. Beyond just sleep, I cannot believe how much clearer I feel during the day. And this plays into all areas of my life because before, even though I didn't realize it, I was definitely on this roller coaster of ups and downs and blood sugar spikes and highs and lows throughout the day that now just seem to be non-existent. I'm a lot more even keel, which makes me more patient with my kids and with my husband and able to focus a lot better than I ever have before. Okay, so tied in with better sleep and more clarity, more energy, that's something that is kind of a given if you're getting more sleep and you're running more optimally, you're going to have more energy. So that normal three o'clock crash that I used to experience and I'd have another coffee or I'd reach for some snacks, now it's just not happening. The next thing that you're going to realize when you quit is just how ingrained alcohol is in our society. It's the one thing that people really truly question when you don't use it. And that just is so weird. I mean, do you really owe anybody an excuse of why you're not drinking? No, absolutely not. Is everyone going to ask you why you're not drinking? Absolutely. And as a woman, be prepared for all the questions that go with it because people like to assume, is she pregnant? Is she an alcoholic? What's the problem? Well, there doesn't have to be an obvious problem for you to give up something in your life that doesn't serve you anymore. Okay, so the other thing that I came to realize is 
using alcohol, even on occasion, very, very much is like a frog in boiling water. You have no idea just how much it's affecting you and recreating your baseline. So until I gave it up, I kind of thought I was doing all right. I, I felt generally okay. I'm not overweight. My health in general was pretty average, but I didn't realize that I could have been performing at such a more optimal level. And that feeling that you get used to, it's not normal. And it makes you a little bit sad when you come to realize that this whole time you were missing out on being your best self. And that to me is enough to keep me going on the sobriety train because I don't know about you, but in my 40s, I'm starting to realize that I don't have a lot of time for bullshit anymore. It's now or never. So yeah, there's that. And I could go on and on about all the benefits of losing weight and you've heard them all, but I just really wanted to have you guys understand from a real human perspective that if alcohol is something that you're not actively choosing, if it's just there and you're not questioning it, maybe you would benefit from taking a second look and trying something new. I'm really, really glad that I did. My relationship with my husband has improved. My relationship with my children has improved. And most importantly, my relationship with myself has improved. And all these areas of my life that have benefited far outweighs any sort of perceived benefit that I may have been getting from using alcohol socially. So... That's my two cents and I just felt compelled to share and I really hope that if this video helps even just one person, then I feel like I've done my job.